my perspective from the generation that i come from uh, i'm only talking perspective of our generation so hold your guns before you react to that um is that we as a society have been strongly moving towards uh, quote unquote selfish interests each one for himself more and more how does one how does one get out of that how does one ensure that people of you know, they can the right lessons so how when did this change happen uh, how did you guys come across uh, thinking like this where you where you had your own interests obviously that has been given to you all by us you kid look after your interests look after what you want how do you want to study what do you want to do um till date a lot of uh, lot of indian resources go abroad i call your resources not out of some sense of uh, freedom that we have over you all but more as as a precious requirement every nation has people who are thinking individuals people who are trying to make a change to themselves and in doing so making a change for their immediate vicinity as well so when did this is it is it just the two of you or do you see this very often in the generation that you belong to among your friends that you are talking about how to make the world a better place uh, what is it that you would want to contribute i am in my times i have i have had those thoughts to a larger extent the life i am leading today is, is a little closer to what i wanted to but i cannot say that i moved towards it is only a couple of months back when i started feeling uh, with my kind of peculiar talent what is it that i want to do with my life and uh, i think december jan you know it's 6 months and 3 months since the values workshop is on however successful or not is a different issue altogether but it it kind of went on evolving is this what you seeding is this a common trait where does your usho do you want to go first on this do your friends also share this social concern or is it an individualistic trait that you have i think the value of being woke is more important to people our age right now than the value of actually using that to for the society or for the better health people around you and that is that's a problem that comes from many different social issues by themselves but to make that distinction and to actually apply yourself to the problems that you can i'd say maybe 25% of my friends can do that at best okay 25% is a good number to start with anand what yes. is your take on this Uh, would your friends be as social minded as you are most of them or a few of them how does it work for you uh, i am happy to note that i don't speak for myself when i display concern about social issues because even if i do have friends who aren't engineering their careers towards a specific vocation that gives back to society there is still an acknowledge acknowledgement amongst them no matter what career path they take that it is necessary in some manner to give back to society now speaking for the generation as a whole and looking at the larger picture as much as i applaud that it is a conscious choice among the members of my generation i need to look at the circumstances we're living in as well members of my generation we don't really have a choice when it comes to not being environmentally conscious it's not really a choice for us we need to be environmentally conscious and we need to be conscious of developing a, a political and economic system that's sustainable for us in the long run for the mere fact that our predecessors never thought of the same things because they weren't faced with the same problems so also to make up for their lack of concern for the longevity of a system we need to uh, adopt a more altruistic approach i'd say well, this is very interesting because this goes to the beginning of the talk where we said uh, as the world failed its youth um uh, so uh, my question is again two prong 
Anand, would you want to see it negatively? Do you hold a grudge against uh, the generation that has handed you these problems? Because these are these are not easy problems to handle, anyways. And at some point, uh, we as a generation, when we had the, the tsunami and the and the flooding of Mumbai, uh, one did feel a sense of outrage. Uh, but then when you saw back uh, at your own childhood and your neighbors and yourself also perhaps, I don't know, it wasn't such a big deal to us. We were happy in our ignorance. We were, I would say, we, would, we were literate illiterates. We, we refused to uh, take responsibility for our actions. And with as, as small a thing as not opting for plastic bags. Uh, it's still a concern. I think halfway, half the time the government passes an order and then there are some people who will still give you the plastic bag. Uh, I know of some times when I've forgotten to take my bag and I am just forced to and I don't think much about the fact and I am well read about the fact that plastic takes a couple of hundred years to you keep on thinking how do I carry the veggies or the grocery in my hand. So you just absolve yourself very easily and get out of it. Instead of making it a point that I will not buy it today, I'll come back again, punish myself. Which is, which is obviously a tough call, but I'm saying, well, where we've reached is no small fry either. Uh, we've been, yesterday I was watching a video, uh, the masks and the sanitizers <laughs> have reached the ocean floors already. So, and, uh, and it was some, either a BBC or a Guardian video uh, that was doing the rounds that please desist, use recyclable masks. I'm saying we are supposed to be the intelligent species and uh, we are handing over a word to you. Don't you, is there a sense of outrage at times? Is there a sense of, when are we going to be able to hold them culpable for this kind of behavior? Do you think this at all? Politically, economically, uh, even the business-wise, the big businesses are equally guilty for this. How do you look well, at it? Sorry? I am angry. I would say, yes, I am angry. I'm, I'm not just angry at one, I'm angry at all of them. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to shout from the top of my lungs. I'm going to bide my time, play the longer game, and wait till I can figure out a way to reverse what you, not you, you, but the generation, you has done, at least in my capacity. And that's what we started with me saying, because the truth is, it, it's not a question of has, has the world failed its youth. It's a question of have we failed each other entirely. Because, I mean... As a generation, each year you live longer. So it's obviously not going to be that, yes, we left the world to you and now we're gone. No, you are probably going to be living very much in the same time that when we are your age, we will be slightly older but in need of assistance, but will be very much alive because modern medicine enables you to, to be so. That doesn't... That doesn't mean that you've left us a worse world. You've just made it worse for everyone in it already. So there's no point in an actual, you know, like, yes, I, you have failed me by giving me a world that is so much more problematic. No, you have failed the world in general by leaving this a worse place than you did when you entered. And that's a reason to be angry, but not vocal. Mm -hmm more like it's a call for a betterment I don't know how else to put it it's just a call kind of like how the Avengers call to assemble in the end of the movie at Endgame it's a call for betterment but yeah it's a it's a it's a, it's a delicate line to draw about whether or not I should be outraged but I think they're um, there should be, there definitely should be outrage 
now in an age of information where uh, environmental doom is uh, scientifically upon us and if you still haven't mended your ways as you said these large corporations who in their pursuit of profit that's only going to prove beneficial in the short term but cause devastating impact in the long term if you are if you choose to be ignorant about such issues then there is cause for outrage if you choose to know these issues but yet continue on persisting in the old ways that have not proven to be too feasible in the long run yes there is cause for outrage but i am i mean i'm happy to note that there is significant backing by members of the previous generation to the younger activists today there is significant support behind them and the causes that they stand for i won't it would be wrong for me to say that the entire movement to have sustainability in terms of environment or the economy or anything is purely youth dominated it would be wrong for me to say that and it is as beneficial to have other members of society including the parents of these activists to give them that backing okay uh we have spent quite a bit of time on this issue um uh, i have a few points to make uh, do you guys agree on that Just let me know um uh, what came out to me out of this discussion so far is the fact uh, i like one fact that she said at the very end that it's not demarcated that this is the youth and these are the people who've done it to us we are all in it and uh, we are facing the consequences as much as anybody else is that's a very interesting take on things uh, i hope uh, that there is lot more people from our generation picking up uh, and helping you with our experience i also ag- agree with what uh, anant has said about there are some of us uh, who are who are very strongly influenced by these matters uh, the best i realize that i can do i have a 13 year old daughter uh, i try and ensure that i am vocal about everything that i do and sometimes i do not do the right thing but uh, when she questions that i admit that this is not the right thing i don't have a choice and i am doing it because i am stuck at this point so that she knows there is a choice and it's being done deliberately uh, at least one part of the world is honest one part of the world is uh, and is is wise enough to understand what is coming to them and uh, instead of going out and uh, bearing flags about uh, what can be done i realize on a daily basis if it is being done and uh, there are often there are things that we've done a uh, couple of times we've gone out Uh, on a drive or something and my daughter would say oh that uh, poor guy looks very needy let's go get some food for that person and i feel very happy about the fact because i have deliberately done it and i have uh, kind, kind of called it a for apple not so much to build up my own ego but just to when she was growing up she would say let's give this person money we would say no i wouldn't give him money because i don't know if he might go and get drunk at the same time you are right we should do something for him and we would actually go buy food and come and give it to that person uh, once or twice we actually chased <laughs> people who gone away because they weren't there in the same place where when we went so it kind of made a huge impression on her about how we as a society can share uh, our goods in any manner that we can another good thing that came to me is the world is in safe hands <laughs> you guys uh, are fairly balanced in your point of view and uh, i would have loved to speak a lot more but i think this second call is also about to come to an end in around 5 or minutes so any anything that you want to uh, add to this any anything i am hoping that you will share it with your friends so that we have lot more people contributing to this conversation what they think about the world and how we can make it a better place together anything at all on an individual level no yeah, i'm done <laughs> anand you want to say something i think i'd just like to echo your point that it is definitely not misplaced uh, belief on our part to have hope in what is to come uh, but we shouldn't let that hope make us complacent and uh, 
you know force us into inaction by just relying on hope and not substantial action so it's a good point i think that's a good last word all of us should try and do something which is actionable rather than just talking about it wonderful this has been a very very engaging talk i think ushua you're not getting away so soon uh, we'll get you for another talk at some point sure thing no problem for joining us anand thank you you are a star on every podcast now so welcome to this whole new discussion of sorts and i hope um, you also keep contributing to all our other media that we are on uh, i decided that this time onwards i'll be a little advertising in my nature and say the uh, follow us uh, on instagram at the values workshop dot com and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and please contribute with your comments and share because it provokes us what kind of topics we can take up this is a genuinely new different kind of thing that i am trying i was very scared today but thank you for hand holding me through this it's been good to see you bye bye Bye.